Before getting into today's episode, we'd like to thank Mac Performance PT for sponsoring the Walk On Pod. For more on their services and contact information, click the link in our Instagram bio where you will be led to their website. Mac Performance PT, helping Sacramento athletes live life without limits. Thank you for tuning back into the Walk On Pod. Um, right off the bat, we'd like to apologize. A uh, little bit of a schedule change. I know we're expecting a guest this week. Um, you know, things happen, and here we are. You're stuck with us three today. Um, but luckily, you get James with the chain out. Um, so if you guys watching it can't <laughs> see because his chain is just too much, I apologize yeah, for that as well. It's glistening in the sun. Yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot going on today. You know, it feels good to be here, guys. We're tapping in from Southern California right now, the home of okay, former so- podcasts. Right there, standing right before us. So you're just going to rub a vacation in early? See, I mean, like, this is if we're starting this off, like, the, the pot off like this, you know, I think it's crazy. You, you see what Jared and I are on. If you're watching, you can see what Jared and I are on. Shout out to the KI Hoops T. Um, good T. Nice flex in there. Well, yeah, um, Jared, but, Jared, Jared how, how, how are you doing, Jared? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm just, I'm just doing nice and lovely. It's sunny. It's Very extremely nice. hot, and yeah, I can't. How, I can't how hot wait is it for you guys out there. Uh, I don't think it's too bad out here, Tommy. Probably nicer for uh, you by the water, but yeah, it's like seventy. Water. It's like seventy nine. I'm not by the water. LMU is by the water. I mean, where I'm at right now is not. But yeah, okay, fair. You see, you see what what's already going on. This is crazy. This is a really wild conversation. You know, early. Jared's already Jared's coming out of the neck early. I just want to see this guy later so we can get some some on court work in. Oh I mean, man, there was on court work yesterday, but anyways, um, so basically, uh, <laughs> uh we got we got something? some things. I'm in, I'm in I'm, I'm in the hills. A, I was making a joke about uh you being on vacation, but you know it's neither here nor there. Uh, well, you know the work never stops. I will be getting in the gym, whether Jared's there or not. There we go. That's a good, that's a good answer. There we that's go. Actually, that's a really yeah. good rebuttal. My my camp has nothing to say about that. Um. Yeah. Well done. Quick on your feet there, James. Uh, we do. You know, we expedited the process. We're getting into our scouting report here. I did watch the movie this week. Now, Tom, uh, this was a movie that you said you had not seen before, right? Mystery Man. Yeah. I. Yeah. I'm not. I. I'll be very um transparent. I haven't got to it. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you know. Uh, Jared, were you able to rewatch it or did you not need to? What kind of question is that, man? Did I rewatch it? My bad. What? My, bad. My fault, brother. Come um, on, I got oh, it on DVD. I fired up the Xbox 360 and we were good to go. Each week you, you redeem yourself as the resident old head, like every single time. <laughs> that's a good flex though. The Xbox 360. I think that's a good flex. Yeah, that's that bad boy off. Um, but yeah, so I watched Mystery Men. Um, I think the best way to put it is I I enjoyed watching it. It was hilarious. It was funny. But it's a horrible movie. But <laughs> it does a really good job at being a. Awful I think movie. that's the point. But you that's the I mean? point, though. That's right? the point. Yeah. So yeah. I was gonna ask. This isn't like a because it gave off like Spaceballs feel, like a spoof type. Movie, yeah. You know no, what I mean? It is. It is. So it's like it's like a play on like all superhero music movies. Yeah, they're making f- well, like so the movie came out like after I think I want to say it was George Clooney Batman maybe, mm. not Val not Val Kilmer Batman. So not um not um. Oh, who did Beetlejuice? Why am I blanking on this right now? The director, Tim Burton, not Tim Burton, Batman. Right. Uh, but George Clooney. So I think that was the point of the movie. Like, think of the characters, right? Like the spleen. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, it was, it was, do you know, do you know who that? So Luke, before you go on, do you know who that actor is? He so. played Pee Wee Herman. That's really? Pee Wee Herman. Yes. Oh, I would not have. Yeah, I've seen Pee Wee Herman too, unfortunately. Yeah. It's Pee Wee Herman. Uh, like, yeah, Ben Stiller's Mr. Angry. <laughs> Mr. Furious. Mr. Furious, sorry. The uh, the the shoveler. <laughs> the shoveler, bro. Like, it's just... It... <laughs> so, off the jump, like, you could... Like, it was like... I was like, what am I watching? But it's funny. Yeah. Like, it's... For what it is, like, it's it's obviously... Oh, the first like, scene is high level. The first bro, scene is so like, high what level. What are we doing? What it... I was like... I was mad at first because I thought you were, like, really throwing me... Trolling you again? I was like, bro, what is this? But, like, for what it was, it was entertaining. Like, obviously, it's, it's not something you can, like, 
if I want to sit down and really enjoy a movie, I feel like it's not what you watch, but if it's like, okay, I got this on, I got a free night. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like if you want to just laugh and not have to like really dive deep into what's yeah, happening, be invested. It, yeah. Yeah. It's a great comedy. And like most comedies are like that. Right. Right. But there was really no storyline. Like you could, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, I, can I mean, yes, it, yes. Those are the best type I, of movies. Those no, but yes movies. and no, though. I would disagree with that. I wouldn't say there's no storyline because the no, storyline is a storyline. But what I'm okay. saying is like, as opposed to like, so like, I always go back to this for my, because it's my comedy benchmark, the other guys. There's a storyline that like, if I miss a scene, like I might not know what's going on. If I missed a scene of the mystery men, I'd probably be fine. You know, what that's I mean? not, that's not true. You think so. you wouldn't, you wouldn't know if Frankenstein, if Casanova, if like, you wouldn't have known what he was about. <laughs> Bro, the scene where they 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 fought him in the tunnel, <laughs> I'm just like, bro, it was just one thing after another. It was just like an okay, but you can't okay, but please rebuttal or re- refrain. You cannot say there's no story. The storyline is very clear. It's just not very deep. Yeah, okay, but that's why. the, the, yeah, the not theme that there is no story. Yeah, you don't the have theme, to be invested in it to enjoy yeah. the movie. The theme of the movie is redemption, right? Like that's what the whole movie is about. Outside of the whole spoofs part yeah there's there's like no, the so, whole like driving factor is for them to redeem themselves after being losers essentially bro i just i just didn't know like it was just one thing after another um it was yeah. it was fun though it was a funny watch um not mad at it at all like i said i think it did a really good job of being an awful movie so yeah. that's like in that was the goal yeah. i think yeah the but the, how how high level was the acting though oh was, well ben stiller's phenomenal <laughs> like he like you're probably, he's hilarious i feel like he like I don't. I don't think he's very relevant anymore. To be honest, I don't no, know. He's most recently been. He in, was but, high level, bro. Like he plays that role really, really well. Yeah, like, even like, like Greg, Ken- Greg Kinnear. Yeah, like they. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So for my for my rating, um, I'm gonna give this one. So I kind of kind of toggle back and forth because, like, again, we haven't dove deep into the comedy realm, and uh, you know, I gave I gave train wreck um just the the book scholarship and room and board right no no tuition or anything mm-hmm. i'm gonna give this one a half scholarship just straight up half scholarship um wow, i toyed nice. with i toyed with giving it a little bit more but i felt like that would leave like the too much disparity yeah. between what the last movie was and this and i don't think that's fair because i think there were two different types of comedies for sure um they had two different goals but I think this one did what it wanted to do a little better. Um, and like in terms of just being goofy and like easy to watch, it, it definitely checks those boxes. So I'm not mad at it. It was it was pretty funny. Um, yeah, just, just like a lot. Like it literally was like space balls or like if anyone's seen. Yeah, like it, well, I mean, it, yeah, starving a, games or something yeah. like that. Like the starving game. I haven't seen, seen that. The, don't, no. watch no way. Don't, don't watch the starving games. I'm telling you. Or what's the other one? Super fast. I think that's the Fast and Furious spoof. It's uh, really bad, too. I didn't know it's they really did bad. that. These Bro. ones aren't that bad. These ones are like more satire than Space no. Well, I because I, I haven't seen Spaceballs in a while, and I remember that yeah. being pretty funny. Like, uh, actually, yeah. The the cool the, watch it. the cool thing about that one, I guess, I'm I'm obviously like a, a probably a full generation older. Like, all the actors they used in those movies were like were like top like tops SNL actors that like made a movie by themselves where they can mm-hmm. just kind of do what they like the the bowler that's Janine Garofalo like she's a SNL legend like mm. it's like so like they were all the SNL people that like really came up and, and like crushed it you know and then were able to kind of take their careers on a different level but be able to make a movie that they probably wanted to make I'm just like guessing because like that no, movie was that ridiculous sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but so, yeah, Tom, I would I would recommend it to you. Um, no, honestly, yeah, I, I'm gonna get to it. the. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna I'll get to it, it. It was I I I, I enjoyed it. It was pretty funny, but it was definitely dumb. But you know, I think that was your goal, right, Jared? Like, <laughs> a half scholarship is a half scholarship is a. I think a uh, solid answer. I feel like so. Yeah, I think I just want to open your mind to the like variants of movies out there. Like Will Ferrell's not just the only dumb comedy guy you know 100 percent, 100 percent. i'm not I, yeah. I don't think i'm close-minded when it comes to movies. no i, I didn't say you well-versed. were but you, yeah you just haven't had you know yeah had the opportunity yeah. right right which is good this is what yeah. this is what your guys' job is yeah exactly so so how are we feeling this week tom what you what you got this week um i was thinking i don't i don't know how luke feels about this genre so 
We don't have to give it another rom com, or what do we think? No, I do have a rom com in the back pocket though. If you want oh. another rom com, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'll give you a rom com if you want another rom com. But no, 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 no. keep going with your. I I want to go with a horror movie this week. I like that. I like yeah, that. We haven't done that yet. Have you seen? Tyler's gonna love this. He's over right on the side here. Have you seen the Baba Duke? The what? Oh, I know what that is. The Baba Duke. So that's the a Baba yes, Duke. You have not seen that. I've never even okay. heard of this. Nice. Is it how scary is it? Like on a scale of like, uh... I will say in terms of movies. So so I went on like a horror binge at NAU my, my last year. Shout out to shout out to Jay Green and Carson Tout. We were just like going through some of like the most notoriously scary movies. So we watched like hereditary and like we we went through all like the the conjurings and like insidious or whatever we did all those like but like so do you know like i don't how scary is this like do i need to be um, buckled down for it or like what i wouldn't say about? you need to be buckled down oh okay. tyler how many times tyler how many times did we watch the baba duke the baba duke it's would probably more it's, more it's more her- it's that scary i wouldn't say it's that scary it's like more hereditary than oh, just sorry. What? And like Insidious, Luke. Yeah, because yeah, I feel Insidious, like Hereditary, Insidious is definitely scarier. Hey, well, Insidious it, is like jump scares and stuff too. Like, yeah, I don't remember Babadook having the jump scares, right, Tom? Yeah, I, honestly, I haven't. It's we watched it so many times when we were younger. It's been a while since I watched it. I don't remember younger. too many jump. I don't remember too many jump scares, and I hate scary mm-hmm. movies. So yeah, like, I don't. I learned them of course to watch it. No, so, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, may not, like, I may not want rewatch this one. I'm just telling you. That's fine. No, it's that's fine. fine. It's okay. The I'll Baba Duke. I really, I was kind of hoping you saw it because I love this rom com I had in the back pocket. Just keep it, keep it, keep it locked yeah. and loaded. Then the <laughs> Baba Duke. I have never even heard of this though. Like it wasn't like so a, much. it wasn't like a high like a blockbuster touted. or something like yeah, that. No, no, yeah, do. definitely not a blockbuster. Yeah. The, how do you spell that? Uh, B A. B A D O O K, 2014. Uh, Short movie, hour and a half. Bro, what in the world? Okay, I mean, it got good ratings. 98% yeah, of not, Rotten Tomatoes, like, Jared. That's impressive. Yeah, we watched it all the time. I didn't say, no, I didn't say it was a bad movie. I just said that that's not my vibe. No, no, no. I never said you did. I just oh, yeah. It was like one of those really things where we're with our friends and we're like all hanging out and we just kind of like throw the Bobby Duke on. It was like, why? So, like, yeah, but it was like fine, you know? Okay, the Baba Duke. All right, I'll give it a whirl. Thanks, man. Yeah, nice. We're really checking a lot of boxes on the on the walk on pod here. We're trying to keep it. We're we're trying to to keep it varied. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Good call, Tom. Good play. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. Speaking of good tea too, by the way. My bad. Thanks. (laughs) Speaking of movie talk, I see nothing bad about the new Mission Impossible. I'm excited to get out there in the theater. Did it come out like last night? Hey man, I've just seen no bad reviews. That's all I know. It came out last night, bro, or like two nights ago. Like, give it, just give like it some time for the hype. Jones. To... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I haven't yet. seen, like, well, I mean, I, Indiana I said Jones already. Is whatever. Indiana Jones is whatever. It was like fine. Bro, we've talked this about like the like, same I've movie, re- though. It's the same thing I talked about, bro. This is a movie franchise that needed to f- call it quits. Like, hey, they but did they didn't, movie. and they're here. And I don't know. Take my money. Take my money. Tom and stuff. Like, Take my money, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise jumped off a cliff for this movie. I will be seeing it. That's what I'm not. He can do. Okay, he, he did that for you. Devils. Yeah. On another note, if you guys aren't excited about that, how do we feel about uh, streets are calling this this upcoming huge day? I think it's July 21st. Barbenheimer. Yeah, Barbenheimer. How do we feel about Barbenheimer? Bro, uh, what? Barbie Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer and Barbie. The same day. Same oh. Day. Yeah, Barbie. I won't be seeing Barbie. I'll see Oppenheimer though. You'll see Barbie. You're not gonna you're not gonna follow the schedule, Jared. It's it's uh I believe it's start your day early, hit Oppenheimer first, yeah. or is it Barbie first? No, it's Oppenheimer first. I can imagine you see Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer first because that's very depressing and then Right. And then a little day Barbie, break. Yeah, and then Barbie, Barbie a little mimosa the break, cap. get the spirits. Yeah, back mimosa though. break. Uh, Barbie on the night cap. <laughs> <laughs> um Realistically, I probably if I see any of them, I'll see Oppenheimer. I mean, I'll probably. I mean, I'm definitely gonna I'll see Oppenheimer. See, I'll probably see Barbie if we're being honest. I'm hearing Oppenheimer is like a horror, bro. It's like psychologic. Yeah. Well, I mean, one, like, it's Christopher Nolan. So two, it's. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna, I mean, you're the movie's literally about time. building the most destructive thing that's ever been built. So. Yeah, I don't know if I can see it. 
I'm yeah, like, it's sh- actually yeah. They said it's they said it's pretty intense. Yeah, yeah that's I've been yeah. Some things. It's, yeah. So I've been reading a lot about it. They're saying it's pretty nuts. I'm excited, well, but I'm also kind of like, like what to expect. I don't know. You know. Well, right, because I was that's that's I'm glad you said that because there hasn't been like very much marketing for it. Like everyone knows what it's about, but like no one really knows right. like what to expect. Well, the, that's the best. So, okay. That, I'm not going to get on a soapbox here. Cause I don't want to take a bunch of time, but that's because the trailers aren't long extended and they don't have multiple trailers. That's yeah, where the movie, the one trailer up. at the same time. So movies, many times. Like screw up. Like that's like, what movie was it? There was a movie. I saw the trailer and I, there was like three trailers i watched i was like man i really want to see this movie i go watch the movie the move all the whole movie was in the trailer right like the word. i could have saved my 12 dollars. Mm. yeah i would rather not know mm. so yeah um tom what was the movie that uh you guys were talking about uh recently um uh, what's the jennifer lawrence one? Oh, no hard feelings the one yeah, me and Kim were talking oh, about that looks funny yeah yeah, I I thought it was funny. I I I laughed a lot. She's a great. She's a great actress. She is a great actress. She looked uh, good too. Okay. I mean, <laughs> this guy. Well, I can't funny. keep it. I can't. I can't keep it. Keep it hundred. No, good for you, man. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, Luke. I, I don't wrong? understand, Luke. Yeah, she's she's pretty beautiful. So no, that's not. Yeah, what I'm Luke. Saying. What's the what's Are the hate just, there? Jennifer no, Lawrence. No hate. Good. You just you just she threw it in there like like. <laughs> She was doing Come it for on, you man. or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's yeah. not, I did not throw it in there like she was doing it for me. She looked good in the movie and I made a comment about it. Okay, good. No, as yeah. you should, man. Yeah, she uh, might I, She might be rolling in Playa Vista right now. You might want to. What? How much longer we got on this spot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, let's wrap this up, fellas. I might need to go uh, scale. TMZ no, saw her. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, hold on. Hold nah, it was a cool movie. It was a, it was a cool movie, though. I, I laughed. Like, I would, I would definitely say go see it. It's. It's funny. Yeah, no, it's I exactly, want to see that for sure. It did exactly. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. There you go. I like movies cool. that do their job well. I like that. That's yeah. a good way to yeah. put it. Is that how you earn a scholarship in the in the scouting report for Luke Gabalovich? Uh, I mean, yes, but you also gotta like. So that's a good question. You gotta do what you're supposed to do at a high level. Because as a coach, mm-hmm. I don't want to worry about coaching the same things over and over and over again. You know what I mean? If I make yeah. it, if I make a point to one person, it goes to everybody. But if I get a person that already knows how to do these little things, then they're gonna know like not to mess around and listen to when I'm coaching. So that's one and two. You gotta you gotta be able to lift the people around you up. That's why Pulp Fiction was an easy full scholarship because I feel like in terms of filmmaking and storytelling and, and tying everything together, it's gonna be able to lift the players around it up. You know what I mean? So it's gonna make other people better. Like it's a it's, great explanation. It, you know what I mean? And it's it's not good I breakdown. Think, I don't I don't think Pulp Fiction is a vocal leader. It's a leader by example. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah, Luke. So. That's why you're the guy for this job. Yeah, that's I mean, I'm, I'm glad you guys agree. Um, I, that's why that's why I pay you guys the big bucks to to have me go scout. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. That four dollars, that four dollars should have hit your account here not too long ago. Oh, did you shoot. get it? Did Jared? Did Jared supply the four dollar reimbursement? <laughs> yeah, he has a, he has a, good thing mystery time, man, man hit because it would have been another that's four dollars. <laughs> that's big time, man. <laughs> um, no, it's good. So, um, I want to, you know, we. Could, Full transparency this is going to be a random episode. I know I kind of we kind of put out there we we're like we talked a lot of NBA stuff. It's been summer league, not much has really happened since then. So we kind of just wanted to sit down and chop it up. You know, this is this is what a normal conversation with Tommy, Jared, and I would go like. Um, so so we got some random things to talk about. I wanted to go into one specifically. Tommy and I went into it uh, not too long ago, but you know we were talking about getting in the gym. And, you know, I'm bringing this up because yesterday there was music playing in the gym and um, Jared knows that I like to to nitpick little things all the time, not necessarily seriously, but I want to talk about music while working out. I wanted to get your guys' thoughts, your opinions, what direction you like to go in, um, because I feel like it's something that everyone could kind of relate to. You want like what I listen to when I work out or if I like listening to music when I work out? Whatever you want to talk about. Um. Because you know, yesterday, just for, to put out there, there, I listened to this, the same song played for twenty minutes straight. Jared, oh, the same song. Yeah. Can I ask? And I missed what a couple in a row for twenty minutes. I don't. No, we can't tell you. Song. We don't. Yeah, we're not gonna tell you what song. <laughs> was Nay on Ox? Someone was. I don't know. It was just playing the whole time. And you then said, I wanted I to be annoyed. Nay was on Ox. Um, no, I mean it could be. Go ahead, Tom. You can give your spiel. And um, I'll give my two cents. I mean, 
I like to listen to a lot of different things as I work out. I will say lately in my rotation when I'm lifting, call me crazy, Afro beats. I'm a no, big not- Afro beats guy as I've been work- lifting lately. I don't really, I don't really listen to music when I am hooping. I don't know. I mean, sometimes, but most of the time I just kind of, if I'm like by myself, uh, I'll just bring headphones sometimes, but most of the time I just kind of like to do no music, but I like to lift. I'll never not lift with music. I like kind of like need music when I lift. I don't know why though. I don't think that's a bad play. I feel like it's good, upbeat, keeps you in a good spirit. Yeah. You know and I if mean? I'm running, if I'm running, hardcore EDM. Call me crazy. That's crazy. That's hardcore that's... EDM. There's something I about yeah. I can't sign off for that. The beats. There's something about the way the beats and like the Bro. pace just hitting. Like I run way fast. I, if I throw on if I throw on this certain EDM song, I'm running a sub six mile easily. Bro, I actually hate EDM. I, so like, it's, it's, it's are you like, a house music guy or, or? No, we've been over this. I don't like house music. Like, you know, I think you need to. Uh, I think you need to uh, find a way. I can find some like house, house, house music, music. EDM yeah. music. You would like? You think so? You're. Confident. I think I. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. In it, yeah, because like you're not like uh like you're being piggy right now, but you're not necessarily like I'm not. I know. I never listen. I you're very open to. That's true. New stuff. I so like that, if I like get some stuff like, that's easy to listen to or stuff that doesn't sound like what you're thinking of, because well, EDM I'll, is like all encompassing, you know? Well, the thing about EDM in house music, actually, to be honest, is the people like, <laughs> that's what it man. always comes back to. Oh my God, bro. It's, it's, it's the same. It's not the music why, itself. Like, it's you're saying the people... it's the demographic that listens yeah, it's, to the it's music. It's not even the demographic. It's, not, it's the same reason with J. Cole fans, bro. They like make you feel bad that you're not like a J. Cole stan. It's the same thing with I've EDM. Never, I've definitely seen thing. this with J. Cole, but I've never seen that with EDM. Bro, you can't tell me EDM like culture is not insane. Like, oh, it like, is. I'm like, really not culture? tapped into EDM. No, culture. it's I'm insane. Yeah, like it's rave insane. culture is weird to me. Like, and I hope yeah. like, and if I lose, like, what? I don't really care. It, you know, like, I just think it's a little odd. I think gym culture is odd too. I think we spoke about on this. I stuff. hate gym like, culture. Gym like, culture sucks. Just, there's a lot of things in like that's your thing. Like, cool. Like people probably think basketball culture is weird too. I'm not like that's your thing. Cool. It's just not my thing, and it's kind of a turnoff to the whole genre of music for me. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'll send you some good stuff, yeah. Luke. That, that there's good EDM. I mean, well, I only listen to it when I run. Well, then, and then I have some good songs. I I trust you. I trust I trust both of you when it comes to music. And then my house music gripe is I've never really been a fan of it. I never have tapped into it. And then when Drake dropped the house music album, everyone was trying to shove house music down my throat. And I was like, I've never listened to it. It's never been my thing. And I'm not going to act like the Drake album is going to make me want to like house music. So then I just never got into it. That was very Drake's, mediocre house music too. I feel like. and and I don't even know if I'd even call Drake's album house. Like it was like. I, I just know. I don't know. I, I I didn't really listen to it. it I liked probably, it. I liked it a lot, but I don't know if I'd say it with house. Did, so. uh, There's uh, some really good songs on there. So Jared, music while working out. I always have music on at pretty much all times. Yeah. Uh, music. whatever I'm doing, yeah. Uh, but I have different music for obviously different situations. Uh, and even then, as I've gotten older, like working out. I don't necessarily need to listen to quote unquote bangers while I'm working out. Whereas like maybe at a younger age, I need to do that. But like, it's really just depending on my vibe. Like, but yeah, I love working out. Like if I'm working out by myself, I want headphones on, whether it's on the court or weight room or running or like any of that in the car, always listen to music. We listen to music at the house all the time. Um, like, yeah, you guys, even, I will say the what's water your, family, what's your, the water family definitely got the music vibes on lock. Yeah, we like listen that. to music all the time. Uh, What's your go-to genre when you work out? Uh, it mixes between like, um, like obviously hip hop stuff, um, and then like, but I'll listen to like indie rock or alternative rock to um, bands that um, that I just like thoroughly enjoy. That like I just like listening to that band. Like it's not gonna affect my workout. Like I'm gonna work hard and do whatever I'm doing. But I will say, I Jared wanna... put me on. Jared put me on to some good to one really good band that i still listen mm-hmm. to to this day was that yeah. the one he talked about on the end of year uh review yeah episode? uh no that was a different band oh, okay. we're talking about the local natives yeah they just released an oh, album two weeks ago did they i need yep. to listen to it they're yeah. really good it's, I it's really uh like yeah half the songs have already been released so it's not a ton of new stuff okay. but uh, but yeah it's still good i've been through it a couple times yeah so i'll listen to music pretty much at all times like it's 
it's weird that I don't. Well, the sad thing is now is that I don't actually get to listen to the music that I like listening to half the time. So, it's not so but I have to pick That's what headphones choose. are for, though. But I will. Hey, speaking of music, I will say this: is that there are a few Disney soundtracks for movies that are actually very, very good soundtracks that I can stomach listening to consistently. So, Moana. like, I'm uh, Moana's awesome. We love Moana. Yeah. Moana's Even great. Frozen's the soundtrack for Frozen is pretty solid. Um, and then Sing Two, that's not a Disney movie, but Sing Two's high level. Sing. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I was lit- I was actually listening to a Sing yeah. Two version yeah. of the song two days ago. <laughs> yeah, Sing Two's high level, but um, yeah, like the other ones, like like Beauty and the Beast will rock, you know. But there's only about five songs that we can get through, and then the rest is just composed songs. So, um, but yeah, no, I, I like we listen to music all the time. I want to make that a big emphasis. Like when Sienna was born and stuff like that, we we always had, I had I would play like the Beatles and play like That's other just like uh, That's really. I think my uh, dad tried to do that with us, and Hannah was yeah. the only one that really watched on. So Shut yeah, up. yeah, my dad did the same thing to me. So that's probably why. Like I listened to like Led. The first time I heard Led Zeppelin, I was like four years old. So no, I like that. Yeah, no, that's I listened right. to a lot of Journey growing up. Really? Yeah, that makes sense for your mom. Yeah, yeah, that's that, your mom is definitely a Journey band type. Yeah, type of person. I know all the Journey songs. That's pretty dope. That's pretty yeah. dope. Um, so so back to the workout thing because I think there's actually and this is so random, but now I'm just thinking, would you would you prefer headphones or would you prefer like loudspeaker? Because I feel oh, like I can, it's two mm. different vibes. Yeah. Am I by myself or am I with a group of people? Uh, that's a really good question. Let's say by yourself first. I want headphones if I'm by myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I do I, not. I think if I'm by myself, I'd rather it be on the loudspeaker. If I'm, I don't want to be on aux with a group of people. To be uh, honest. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're you can't be that guy to be have if you have headphones on and you're in a group workout. Yeah, you're kind of a yeah. That, no, but I, I guess mean, like, kinda... I also don't want to be like okay, but like if I'm at the gym and like it's like a oh like a gym, yeah, like, yeah, gonna, yeah 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 like, no, like no, I obviously yeah. have headphones on, but like if yeah. I have the weight room all to myself, then like I'd rather like I can just choose what I want and have it playing loud than have headphones in. I guess if that makes yeah. Sense. That's no, fair. no, that makes sense. I'm not mad yeah. at that. Yeah, I would do the same thing if I was like in the gym shooting and. Yeah, I would rather have a speaker if I was the only person in there. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not an aux guy. I don't know yeah. if we've talked about that. I, I, I'm not an aux guy. I can't do it. I'm just not. It's too much pressure. That's, yeah, yeah. it's a lot of pressure. And like, I know a lot of people aren't gonna like want to listen to this. Like, like Tommy and I was talking. So like, when I work out, like I look, I listen to like a bunch of different things. But the majority of my workout stuff is like I listen to like heartbreak, like R and B stuff, like real slow, like sad. So I don't know why. I don't know why. But like. I'm really locked Let in. Let it out. Listen. Let it out, Luke. Let it out. They, bro, I'm telling you, like, bro, the slowest Bryson Tiller songs, like, those will never not hit for me. You know what I mean? But no yeah, one else wants to listen to that while they're working out. So I'll put yeah. the headphones in or I won't be on Ox. You know it's, I mean? it's it's better than yeah. having, yeah, the, there's some there's some wild stuff that goes on. If you're going to be on Ox, you got to know your crowd. You got to know your crowd. You know your crowd. You well, that's the other thing that sucks about being on Ox is, like, well, this is, like, for me. So, like, I like having music during the workouts. But the problem is, is it's hard to find, like, I like to listen to albums start to finish. So it's hard to find albums that you can just play. Cause I don't have to go back, keep changing songs, do all that. And like, you know what I mean? Not everybody likes a playlist, like, put together or something like that. And I have playlists, but it's like, like hip hop songs that I really like are kind of like what you're talking about, Luke. Like, where there'll be some slow ones and like, there'll be a lull in the playlist and the workout and it'll kind of kill the energy. So I'd rather just like, I don't know, it's like hard to, that's why I lobbied someone that. else. Like they can't yeah. deal with it. And I don't want to think about it. Like, you know, right. Like, yeah. So, so it's just that's not, fair. not my yeah. I feel like you're a good ox guy though, Tom. I don't know why. I just feel like you're a good ox guy. Um I don't think I've ever been I would in a situation say I'm where an, you're on ox, but I would say I'm like a average to above average ox guy. I think I know my crowd. Yeah. I think I definitely yeah, wouldn't I'm say I'm an I wouldn't say I'm an elite ox guy. I don't okay. I don't speak the ox. The ox Are is you jumping me, to I'll get do on it. ox? No, I'll do it. I'll do what is needed though. If I had gotcha. the ox cord, gotcha. was, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking I think of, that's well, a fair play. So the reason um, I'm bringing up before we move, stuff, are we okay? No, we I, I got one stuff? more. Yeah, because okay. so so there was the the same. Song I have one thing I want to say too. Yeah, yeah, that's you. The the there's the same song playing over and over yesterday, and then today in the gym, someone had at at the public gym had a speaker out, and it's like oh, that's absurd. 
it's weird. Well, it wasn't in the weight room. It was in the courts, and it was only, like, me and, like, two other people. So, like, I don't really care, but, like, it was just kind of odd to me. It's like, why do you got a, a whole speaker at a gym that's, like, not yours? And I don't know. I just always – so, like, just put some headphones on. Like, yeah. It's not really – I can't care. Especially that. now. Like, especially now with, why, like, the, the buds and stuff. Like, it's – I remember, it's dude, so I used easy. to work out with these, and I'd tuck it in to my shirt. shirt. Yeah. yeah. You, were, you probably rolled a class like that, too. You were the big one. Yeah. Headphones out the shirt guy. Oh yeah. Did yeah. you have a? Did you have like the uh, iPod Shuffle? If you would like. Clip I it had to your an shorts? iPad Nano. Okay. iPod Nano. iPad Shuffle doesn't hold enough songs. iPad. I mean iPod. iPod, shuffle, iPod. Sorry. Yeah. Jared's walking around. Don't, with iPod. don't mistake this for the <laughs> iPad that was on sale <laughs> on Prime Day. I hope you bought it, Davy. I hope yeah, you bought I it. I probably need to buy Day. one of those. How? What was the sale price on that? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was twenty five. Davy was. It was decent. Twenty five hundred. Twenty-five percent off. Oh, I was like, well, I will it's never get, be getting an iPad. <laughs> Times twenty-five hundred. <laughs> I don't know what Davey's doing cool for iPad. money, but <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Uh, um, all right, James, what, what were you going to go into? Uh, the other thing I was just going to say about like music that I've been listening to, I've been listening to, and it was funny. We when we had Jay on um, the part we talked about how he listened to a lot of the same music when we were driving yesterday. Jay said he's been listening to this well. A lot of America's Got Talent auditions. Have you? Are you guys tapped in with those? Not at all. There no, are some. I don't great, even know what that means. There are some great covers, just that people do on there, just breathtaking performances that you need to watch. I'm gonna take your word for it because I'm probably yeah. won't tap in. Uh, I never watched. There's a guy Got Talent, so it's like there's a guy Cody Lee. I'm pretty sure he won America's Got Talent, and he was like. Is that the one with was, Simon Cowell? Yeah, mm-hmm. he's one of the, yeah. the judges. He was blind, and I, I believe he had autism as well. Yeah, I've seen that. And I've seen that. Um, he just on went Instagram. up there. Yeah, he just went up there, and this dude, this dude just blew me away. Like the vocal cords on that guy are second to none. So yes. okay, America's Got Talent audition tape. Good music. Good music. Man. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh. We, uh, what else is on your mind there over there, Tommy? In uh, sunny Southern California. Um, can I switch the topic? You can go yeah. wherever you want, man. Let's talk about this guy Shohei Otani. Okay. <laughs> what about what do you him? Do? Is this guy? Is this guy the best athlete in the world? Uh, like currently. I don't know about. Is that what you're... Yeah. Athlete, as in like, um, I don't like, know, athlete. Uh, Athlete, that's like a broad. I, term. I, it's a hard, I'm it's a hard asking term. the questions. I'm just asking the question because it's a hard term. Because do you mean like in their sport? Because I think I I, I have real polarizing views of baseball, to be honest, and it's probably yeah, not same. Me. So it's like, but that's I mean, fair. I mean, I, I is he more athletic I've, than I've the guy? Arguments. I've, I've had arguments with people about this. Like he's not more athletic telling me than he's like, the best athlete in the world. On. But we're not talking – like, you're talking about, like, sports, like, in there. I'm talking sport. about sports, yeah. yeah. Yeah, No, I'm just talking about sports. Um, I mean, bro, did you see – they were saying – did you see the numbers that he might put up for free agency after this? Yeah, year? what he's doing – yeah, well, he's going to get oh an absurd God. contract. Like a billion They're, dollars or something? Yes. Like billion, yeah, like 700 for like, million or for something. For, like, like, 10 to 12 years or something. Because these baseball contracts are nasty. Like, they're Yeah, long. they get, like, 10-year yeah. deals. Um. Is he more athletic than the guy that stole four bases? Oh, that guy's Dale a rookie Cruz or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, he's crazy. I don't know. Dale I Cruz. saw that guy steal four bases. <laughs> he stole home, like yeah, he just, yeah, he just, he just got a single, stole second, third, and home. He's like, he's hella and exciting. He hit, and that that same guy hit for the cycle like two weeks ago. Okay, that might be the most. I'm just gonna. I don't know anything about baseball, but that might be the most athletic. So thing you I've know, seen you know yeah, what Shohei guy, does, right? Like, yeah, do you know what Shohei is doing? He's two players. He's he like, hits and he pitches, right? At a high level. Yes, but he's he's like best of the best at both positions. Yeah. Like his stat line the other day, I saw he went three for three with two home runs and then like seven innings pitched and ten strikeouts. But he doesn't do it in the same game though, right? Yes. No, he does. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. But it's he can't an, do that. But he can't do that in the American League, I thought. No, you can't. Well, yeah, American League is where you can DH. So he – yeah. So he oh, so he doesn't. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. Like even the days, that. even the days he's not pitching, he's the DH. Which, make, which uh, makes him being a good pitcher that much more impressive. Yeah. yeah. 
So he you're hits, saying that he he's hits probably bombs. The, so he, I think he has like 32 home runs this year. So he's actually probably the best, best baseball player to ever live, is essentially? I think so, yes. I mean, you have to have the conversation, I even, honestly. I don't even think it's crazy to say. I think we should get another yeah. baseball player on here and talk about it because – Yeah, yeah. Literally Let's like get a hitter on here because we talked to Pete, but I yeah. need a hitter's a perspective. He's literally like, one of the bonds. best pitchers in the league. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, crazy, though. Like 10 strikeouts in a game and you hit two home runs in the same game? Yeah, that's like some real creative you, player. Like, like you don't MLB. even need anyone else. Like you could win the game off of that right there. Like, yeah, and the I was talking to himself. I was talking to a guy. I was talking to one of my friends that is an avid baseball watcher, and he was like, "I was we were talking about his contract," and he's like, "Yeah, it's a crazy contract, but like, you're basically paying for two players." Yeah, so you're paying for an elite pitcher, and you're paying for an elite hitter. Yeah, I and just, the fact that think... he can do both at the same time, pretty crazy. Do you think that this is gonna like? be the start of a wave of like more like i don't know what the term is but like two-way baseball players because you you've never really I seen think, anyone like this. yeah i don't i don't i don't but i think that's like an anomaly i do exactly that's what i was just gonna say i don't it's not yeah. normal like yeah we never, like, I don't, like, it's never been seen before and i don't know that to it stay that like healthy that. and be that durable and to be able to be that good at both things like that just doesn't really even make sense well, and i think in in the baseball american baseball system as far as i know again like this is not much that i yeah. know about but like as far as I know, even if like you're a good high school pitcher and and hitter, once you get to the next level, they're just kind of like, okay, you're just Big a clown. pitcher. You no yeah. longer work on hitting, or you know, like you know right. what I mean. So like, it's hard to like the fact that he's maintained it, like you said, is kind of insane. Yeah, that's Nuts. crazy. That's crazy, Tom. So he's like, he's for sure gonna win MVP again, right? Got to, yeah. Yeah. So nuts. And that's, that's the so other nuts. thing that's crazy about baseball is I guess like Mike Trout's also been one of the best players in the league. And they have so they have two of the best players on the same and they team. They can't even. And they, make they're it to they're the just so card. not. Yeah, they're so bad. So clearly, that seven hundred million dollars isn't going to get you much. Yeah, you better have a you better have a good rest of the it team can, too. It can guarantee you. It sounds like it can basically like give you a good percentage, at least one win in a series every single because like they play series of baseball, right? So like, yeah, out of three games, if Shohei's pitching one of them, you'll probably win that game. Well, in a seven-game series, Tommy, you tell me if I'm wrong. It's usually your ace will get at least two starts and then maybe some relief in the, if it goes seven games, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Like if it's yeah, and if it's a seven-game series, series like, they get two get starts. Yeah, they get two starts. Like that's what Madison Bumgarner did. They'll start right? like the first game. They'll start yeah, the first game and then like the yeah. fourth game. And then they'll yeah. like relieve in game six and seven. They'll pitch like two yeah. innings. They're always ready to go, but their arms yeah. gonna be cooked. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crazy, Dom. Uh, I haven't watched. I don't pay attention at all. Um, not my cup of tea, but yeah, I just had to get it off my chest because it's pretty nuts. Yeah, another news: Chelsea. Chelsea lost the great one today. It's official. AC Milan is taking uh, taking Christian. So Christian Pulisic. Yeah, I, I actually just that. watched. I actually just watched his uh, golf video with Bob the Sports yesterday. God. Tom, are you watching uh tennis? Are you watching Wimbledon? Yeah, Eubanks was putting on a show. I'm pissed and lost. Look, I I've been behind. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, haven't been he's watching. A, he's an American. Whenever my dad has it on, but he's an American that beat he beat Sitsipas. Yeah, I know him, who I know who Eubanks through. is, but I knew yeah yeah unranked woman made it to the finals. I saw that today. I read that That's article. So sick. That's cool. Actually, I I'm not tapped in with what happened today though. Uh, um, what's her name? Uh, uh, the chick that was in the Breakpoint, uh, the Netflix show, she won. Oh yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce her last name. Yeah, not gonna lie. Uh, it looks like it looks like the men's games are tomorrow too. The women's are. There's one more game for that. Matches. But yeah, matches. My bad. Yeah, matches. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> It'll be Djokovic and Alcaraz again, probably. And I mean, if, if I was bro, a betting man, I'd say Novak Djokovic is going to win. You you think I see? I don't think I think. So did you watch what was that? The French, right? Did you watch them at the French Open? Did you watch the match or see the highlights of it at all? Yeah, yeah. Well, so, Alcaraz was playing well until he got hurt. So so, but he plays really good on clay though. Well, yeah, Djokovic. So this is the thing. So my dad really kind of broke it down to me, and it was crazy. So you're allowed a. I don't remember the exact time. I want to say either 10 to 15 minute bathroom break. And after mm-hmm. the second set, Djokovic went and took his bathroom break. And it was pretty obvious he went and took a shower. And it was like over 100 degrees at the French, right? So 
while while he was just sitting out there in the sun, Djokovic went and took his break, and then the last three sets, like Djokovic raked him up, like it was over. Like, yeah, but Carlos was uh, Carlos was cramping though too. I mean, you don't think that had to do with the heat? No, for sure. I'm saying it for sure did, but I'm saying Why once he Carlos started cramping. He, yeah. he didn't, he, he's just not a vet like Novak. <laughs> this guy's the goat, man. He is the goat, bro. He's crazy. But I also don't I, – I don't know. Like, it's very clear. Like, and I was talking to my dad about this because obviously he knows tennis and follows it very well. But he, uh, right. he said that, like, in the tennis world, like, it's pretty clear that, like, everyone's, like – the torch is being passed. Like, it's, it's kind of over with. So, like, I don't know. I, I think Alcaraz. Like, in the fact that Alcaraz is going to, like, win and you take think Alcaraz is going to beat him? I think – I don't think Djokovic can do it two times in a row. I don't know. I think he's going to beat him again. The thing is – the thing Alcaraz with Djokovic is Tommy's is, guy. That's crazy. That's my the, guy. The, that's my guy. And Novak is just – he's just well, so mentally different. Well, like, bro, the way – so, the way that Novak plays tennis, he, he like, he doesn't hit winners. He's a wall. Like he just sits back there and waits for you right. to make the mistake. He's gonna return every single one. Like he's not yeah. going for the home run play at all. He just he's he knows I'm I'm in better shape than you. I'm more athletic and I can hit more shots than you. And he just goes right. The thing with Alcaraz is he can keep up with him, and he's he's young enough. You know, he's young enough to keep up with him. And he's talented enough to like put him away when he needs to. That's the problem. It'll just be and yeah, I agree. It'll be interesting just so uh, like playing on grass. Yeah, Cause like the last time they played and Alcaraz beat Novak was on clay, and then yeah. obviously yeah. Novak just beat him at the French Open on clay. So now they're on grass, and I'm like, I'm I'm not gonna lie, like I don't know if grass is Carlos's his specialty or what he likes to play on or not. And obviously uh, Novak yeah, told him that he put on it. So I remember Roger used to used to really clean up on the grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, exciting though. Yeah, Everyone no, it's. Great stuff. Wimbledon is great stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure he's won. That's so sick. I'm pretty sure Novak's won the last two Grand Slams too. So Novak's a goat. You know, going for three in a row is crazy. Yeah, it's looking looking good for him. Oh, all right, fellas, we want to get into this starting five. I'm ready for this starting five. Yeah, man, this is a good one. I think this is a really good one. Uh, Tommy and I kind of conjured this one up organically in another group message. Um, We got starting five stores coming your way starting five stores now um again it's open we felt like okay oh uh, i gotta man. i gotta i gotta i gotta regather myself now <laughs> starting five right. stores we felt like it's a it's a very open topic you can take it whatever way you want um now i haven't posted the one from last week so we don't have a winner yet um how do we want to how do we want to get this draft underway go jerry i can first. go first yeah. yeah. Well, are we serpentining? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got my list right here. I'm ready to go. Talk to me, Jerry. All right, All you right, can go. you can drop you can drop uh you want to drop the intro here? No, Luke? The intro. I just yeah. uh, What do you mean? I just explained. Yeah. It. The intro for the best person on this list that we're going to do. I'm about to drop him right now. Do you want to give me the intro? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> my my point, my point guard is going to be the number one player. When it's all said and done, all right. am I missing right. something? Yeah, my I think point guard <laughs> is <laughs> my fault. Goes <laughs> totally over my head. Like I, I that's crazy. Crazy. I'm, like, yeah, I'm, just I'm playing chess while they're playing checkers. Shout out Jordan Ford. <laughs> You're wild, and I thought I was wild. Look at my outfit. Yeah, no, your you, you are crazy. wild too. You are wild too. This is like I'm looking at Jack Harlow as a 12 year old. Is what I'm <laughs> looking at. I'll take that. Like I think call Jack Harlow, honestly. <laughs> oh, Macaulay Culkin, that's a good one. That's an even better one. I like that too. Uh, yeah, I like that better. Okay, at my point guard, <laughs> he's there every day. He's he's the leader of my team. He he sets a table for everybody, just like most point guards, like Shine talked about. But really, he's just he's an unstoppable force. Just completely unstoppable. Give me Lulu Lemon at the point guard. Wow. <laughs> wow. I knew you were going to have him in. I didn't know if it was going to be. Lulu Lemon at the point guard for Jared. Yeah, that's a good play. That's a really good on play. Brand. Off the board. Off the board. On fast. brand. Off yeah. the on board brand fast. for the young On brand for the young man. Yeah. Yeah. The LeBron. Entering good. season 21, you know. Good I've got you. the LeBrons on right now, actually. There we go. This guy's right. big time. You can go now, Tom. I'll yeah, take go ahead, Tom. You got the you know, shades, the at chain my on point, 
at my point guard, this guy sets the table for the rest of the team. All right, you can't you can't get anything done in uh can't get anything done in your home life if you don't if you don't go to this guy first. And that's why I've got Home Depot at the point guard. Because it's get me Home Depot. Home Depot. Home <laughs> Depot. I love when this Home Depot is delivering everything we need. It's a good pick. It's a good player. Home Depot is the facilitator. He's the guy. He's the Florida. He was, he was on my. He was on my draft board for sure. Um, he's pick. definitely. Yeah, he's definitely a worthy candidate. Yeah, good pick. Good pick. Okay. Um. So, I had Home Depot not at point guard, but I made it. I already had backup, so we're good. Um. At my point guard now, my point guard, the game of basketball has turned into an international game. The game of yeah. basketball is not an American game anymore. Like an American dominated game anymore. It's international. My point okay. guard's an international player. Um, and he's a scorer. Okay. He's a scorer. My point guard is a scoring guard. Um, he knows how to facilitate. You got things in there for everybody. But the, at the end of the day, if I need a bucket, I know I can go to my point guard. Give me cost plus world market at my point guard. I think cost plus world market <laughs> is a stellar store. Um. And it checks a lot of boxes. I'm not mad guys, at the play, but that's just a crazy. <laughs> bro, you can't tell me you've never you've been into a cost plus oh, world market. Have, have you a met Amanda? Of course I've been in there. No, no, no. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. That that you went in and you didn't leave like satisfied. Like that's a great store. It's a great store. He said, Give me cost plus world market. Cost plus world market at the <laughs> uh, that's God. a good store. Um, okay, at the at my you already at have my, what I you already have Amanda's vote. Yes, let's go. Um, at my shooting guard, uh, I mean, yeah, we go back to this a lot. This is this is this is my bread and butter. Never, never missed. This guy shoots a a high percentage. Open twenty four hours. Um, give me Winco. Mm-hmm. This guy, this guy fills it. I up knew you were gonna play Winco. Yep. I knew. I, I love Winco. I love, I love the Winco play. Oh my yeah, God, I Winco knew. is incredible. Winco is absolutely a top guy on my draft board. Yeah. I love that. Play. I think the open 24 hours, like this guy's a gym rat. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I, hope, I think I'm first one in the gym. Winco's already been in there for hours. Like, yeah, Winco, I mean? doesn't so, like... Leave Winco doesn't leave the gym. Winco sleeps in the gym. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> gym oh, rat. Get him off him. the board oh. early. Give me Winco. Oh, my God. Way to take Winco out early. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, picking third was a great spot for you, Luke. Yeah, no, I was right there at the turn. It's a good choice. Uh, my, my backcourt mate with Home Depot, um, this is just a store that it just provides what you need, you know, it's, it's small, it's smaller, but it, the quality of, of the goods in there is just so top tier and it never misses in my opinion. Give me Trader Joe's at the my, two. Tommy's, Tommy's taking my whole list, man. Ah, that's all right. That's a sips, great Give me Trader lemonade. Joe's at the two. That's a water, but Yeah. <laughs> That's a great uh, I love Trader Joe's, man. It's well documented. I love yeah. Trader Thank Joe's. You. Good pick. Thank good you. Pick. Well, Trader uh, Joe's is good history. Yeah. So, at the really shooting guard play here. Okay. I really just need a showstopper. Mm. Like, yeah. If I, like if I need, yeah, I need someone to like really pull out all the stops and just make me shine, make my team shine. So, he's in, you know, not a, not a guy that everybody knows about. Maybe the next young Euro prospect, but. Give me All Saints at the shooting guard. Just high I'm level, not even familiar with All Saints. High quality. I'm, I'm very familiar. Uh, it's a high good quality, quality must be too young. material. High quality so, material. That's a I need play. to take my talents to All yeah. Saints here pretty soon. Yeah, so, All Saints. It's a, it's a good there, it's a good there's play. there's an outlet in Livermore. It's a high level. Yeah, outlet. No, I, yeah. that's Noted. that's actually why I know of All Saints. Yeah, the Livermore outlet. Yeah, yeah. The Livermore outlet is high level. Um. Noted. At the small forward, I need someone that can do it all. I need someone that is going to, you know, be the Swiss army knife of my team. You know, he's going to keep everybody fed, right? If you need some paper towels, you can get some paper towels. If you need some Don't hot food, you can get some hot food. And it's just Don't do it. quality, quality customer service. Give me nugget market. At nice. The small forward. Nice. Wow. Nugget market. Nugget, I, I do know. have. We did That's have good. some internal issues at a time where, you know, management had to bring him in because I used to work at Nugget Market and that's actually <laughs> the only <laughs> job that no I've ever way. gotten fired from. <laughs> no way. Nuggets got such good pizza. Oh my God. You oh, got fired from Nugget? Fire. I got fired from Nugget when I was 16. Now, are you guys familiar with like a, it's like a side brand in Nugget. I think it's called Forklift. 
Have you guys ever oh, been I've to seen a forklift? That one's way up there in Shingle Springs, right? Yep. I yep. I've yeah. seen forklift. But yeah, the Nugget Market is it's, it's, it's Nugget. Yeah. 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 Well, the first the one was in Vacaville. Fire. Man, that was great pay. Just didn't last that long. <laughs> What were you well, clocking Jared, in late, Jared? Can, yeah, oh, can, wait, okay. can we can we sidetrack to get a quick story on how you got yeah, fired okay, from Nugget so, Marketplace? So this is I'm gonna be 100 percent honest here. Is that so when you when you when you sign up to work there, they have you have to make it past your um you know preliminary period or probation period. It's uh, 60 days. They can fire you for any reason in 60 days. They don't have to have cause. Oh, and the gauntlet, there were the real gauntlet. So there were. There was a checker who she was not very fond of me for whatever reason. I feel like I didn't do anything to her. She was close with the manager who hired me, and so I got fired. And the reason I know this is some nonsense, I can't use the words that I normally use. One of my friends who also worked there, they told him he got fired because he didn't smile enough. Wow. When he was pushing carts, when he was getting the carts back, when he was cart returning, like going out to get carts, he wasn't smiling enough. What a... uh... What a story the lesson out there, man. All yeah. these so, after but all this. Just think about it. But think about it this way, though. In t- what, 2005, like I was making like, you know, like 20 bucks an hour in 2005. Yeah. Crazy You're big money. For, You're yeah, big money. for 16 year old, that's good. huge. All for the Lulu Lululemon. Really good. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have Lululemon back then. But <laughs> I, $20 doesn't get you much at Lululemon. You can, uh, no, yeah, I, don't even, you I, I don't even think it out. gets you anything. Yeah, sorry. So sorry for the sidetrack. Um, yeah, Nugget Market, my small no, forward, despite the uh, internal issues and the technical fouls and all that stuff. Stud. To, yeah, that's a stud. <laughs> it's so funny, actually. Um, all right, Tom, that's you, small forward. My small forward. This this is the ultimate showstopper. Absolute star of the show. Luke's getting mad. I'm probably going to nah, take his pick because who nah. doesn't love this store? It's Got everything you need. Give me Target, aka Target, at the three. Who doesn't I'm love not, a good Target? I would never pick Target. Just never. It's would. crazy. It's not crazy. gritty enough for my team. Um, Target is so gritty, man. And that Target, leads me into my Target. small forward. That's I know you've never been to Target in Citrus Heights, Luke. <laughs> wow. It's just it, it in its counterpart because I don't want to say the name. I want if someone wants to take it. I just know that the counterpart is a lot more gritty. Um, All right, man. Then let's I just, in the man, Oklahoma drills, yeah. I know that my counter the, the I don't I didn't take this guy, but the counterpart is those, those are outlawed. Those are outlawed. I'm riding with Target. <laughs> um, but in terms of grit, I think in in the sports equipment world, there's one store that really um, takes the cake, and I didn't take this guy. I did not take that guy because I think he's a little entitled. Um, I think, I think that guy, I don't want to name names. I think they're a little entitled. Uh, they know that they run the game and that's good for them. They work their way up, but there's one guy that always shines when I need a 36 pack of refurbished pro V ones. And that's big five sporting goods. Give me big five sporting <laughs> goods. That's my small forward. <laughs> um, nice. big five is slept on. I think people don't oh, appreciate it for what it brings to the five. table. You're not going to get the pick. highest quality things, but what you need is there. It's just not going to be from a brand that you've ever heard of before. <laughs> and five. I like it. It's it's budget. It gets the job done. Really yeah, the well. store's not too big. Like it's easy to find stuff. And I'll say yeah, this about I Big like Five: play. the workers are always very nice. I've never been yeah, to a well, Big if Five. If you choose to work at Big Five, that's like a. And in Big Five chose to come to my workouts, and now they have a spot on the team. So good for All them. Right. I like um, it. That's my four man. Yeah, good for Big Five. My foreman, um, my foreman is um he makes everyone else look good. Uh he just does all the little things that make everyone else play better, feel better. Um, just, just a good glue guy, cohesion guy. I talked about the scented candle on the household items. Give me bath and body works as my nice. as my power forward. Um Again, it's, it's, going going on it's, it's another it's another store that you don't leave unsatisfied. You just feel like you gain something, whether you buy something or not, from Bath and Body Works. I could do a scent. I, I gain I gain a migraine is what I gain when I go there. That's that's you know, you know Jared, that's, that's unfortunate for you, man. I, it's unfortunate I'm, that you I'm can't speechless. appreciate what Bath and Body Works brings to the court. All right, Tommy, <laughs> who's your special. power forward here? My power forward is a versatile four, man. All right. You need some gas, that'll get you some gas. But the the important part of what oh. this power what? forward does. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. The important, I'm like, why? The you have important a drug dealer part of what this power forward does. 
I'm talking about I'm talking about gas for the car, Luke. Come on, oh, man. Hey, oh, wow. what you're saying, bro? Uh, you got the, the shades and the part, chain on, bro. The important part of what this power forward does is it provides Tommy Ball the Slurpee. Give me 7-Eleven. Shout out to 7-Eleven Day. I, I was in it. there on 7-Eleven. I, I was Jeremy's in there on July 11th for my free Slurpee. Give me 7-Eleven. I knew it. God, I knew oh, it. Man, oh, man. I don't, I'm not a fan of that that pick, man. But it's okay. I get, I get, I get the, the pick, pick Luke. Uh, I get the pick. I get it. Why well, I asked uh, if gas stations played last night. Yeah, we all knew it was coming. It's all right. Though. Yeah, we knew. Oh, yeah. yeah, if anything, yeah, yeah. Slurpees. Yeah. Put ice, them on the list. Slurpees, Find a way to get me a Slurpee ice, on the ice. list. It's on the list. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate you for calling it a Slurpee this time. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, power forward. Um, you know, I don't know if my, my, my backcourt is not the biggest team. So if I need to go and get, you know, a little bit more size, a little bit more athletic. Um, this is the perfect place to be, even though it's not necessarily a store I buy something in every time I go. For some reason, I'm always drawn to go in there and look around. And even may, even though, like, I don't really need any of this anymore. But for my team, it's it's going to allow me to reach a different level of athleticism. So for Power Forward, give me Nike store. Nice. The just, Nike just store. Your- the, just the factory the straight store. Nike store. No, I don't want to do no, factory store. Just, I want the just Nike like, store. Like the flagship the nice ones, ones. The real yeah. ones. With San Francisco. Portland. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. Big, no the big outlets money have definitely taken a big drop. Yeah, Jared. I mean, we're just dropping bags I feel, at your store. No, yeah, no, I feel like I, have a I feel question. like the outlet has turned into the Andrew Bynum of stores. <laughs> Which haircut on the <laughs> the bowling um, Andrew Bynum? <laughs> um, I have a question for your lineup, not to not to pry or anything, but yeah, you don't. Good. Is there going to be a little bit of butting of heads between Nike and Lululemon? I feel like there's a little bit of no, you know no, who gets no. the ball more competition there. No, because look, I, I agree because, with Luke here. You know what's funny is that definitely I doesn't have, have a, a role great... player like Seven Eleven on his route. I, I I would disagree I, with that. Same <laughs> I have a great response to that. So, Luke and Tommy, you've seen me in the gym many a times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More than you know. Definitely. Everybody knows their role. Lou yeah. takes care of the shorts. Mm. Okay. Nike <laughs> takes care of the feet. What about That's the fair. jogger section? Just both the jogger, counter. Oh, the tech fleece joggers it's and not ABC even close. joggers. It's are, not even well, maybe close. it'll come from it's his center. Close. Maybe the joggers will come from it's his center. It's not center. even close. <laughs> like, Lulu joggers, like, shit yeah. on Nike joggers. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's no. not okay. close. Anything that's touching these legs is Lulu. Okay. That's right. what I'm telling you. That's why so they like call me said, the I'd Lulu like God. The, the, the Lulu, Lulu God. God. There's you the title for the first. episode, ladies and gentlemen. The Lulu God. Use code J Waters twenty for twenty code off K-I. at Lulu. Code K I. Now I really went back and motion forth. Motion at Lulu Lemon. I went really back and forth here on center. I wanted to have some variation, so uh, I'm. I have a bunch of. You know, a bunch of guys came to tryouts. I feel like this is a store that none of us like really love going to, but we all have to go there because all of us need this one thing that it provides. So if we're at my center, give me the AT&T store because everyone has a cell phone and everyone needs a cell phone plan. There's not I, homeless people have cell phones. That's a necessity pick. That's a yeah. necessity. Pick. It's, like, a, it's, it's a necessity to, pick. I, I got a lot of walk on. hate going to those stores. Hate it. Yeah. Hate it. Hate it. Like, like you don't or want to pay or like any of those type of stores. So you're an AT&T like, guy. You're not a Verizon or a T-Mobile kind of guy. You, I'm more of an AT right now. I'm AT&T because they're pick. giving me unlimited data at a at reasonable cost. And but I get drop calls and I get mad and I curse AT and T as I drive my car. Good. Um, this but is something that I can you know, any other way. Like I, you know, shouldn't it's like any other you don't want to pay Porzingis thirty million a year, but mm. like you, you kind of have to, have to, right? Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, like AT and T store is, is where I'm at right now. Um, but you know, for, my contract is up soon, so free agency we could be see. looming. Okay, so this is just this is a short-term contract. Well, I ca- I want to also comment. I got a lot of heat for the household products list. That was a very <laughs> high-level list that apparently some people, not going to name <laughs> names, feel like I was making an unrealistic expectation of life. Whereas to me, I feel like I want to live right life right. I work hard. <laughs> So right. I had and to Jared's put a necessity right. pick in Ooh, to like Jared's living serve. right. That's why he's got a golf yeah. sim- simulator in his house. 
and good Wi-Fi. Yeah, and good Wi-Fi. Jared, Jared, I like the pick, man. Mm. But here's what no, I'll tell I, you. I, I will say here's I like the pick. It's, it's a gutsy pick because yeah, I, yeah. I couldn't do it. It's a gutsy pick. Either. And here's what I'll tell you. AT&T is not banging with my son. I, my center is throwing at t around like a rag doll. I'm going to tell you that right if now. If you I've say AM, PM, I'm going to fight you. I've got an yeah. absolute bruiser, an absolute bruiser down low, all right? Give me Shields. Shields? What, what do you guys know about Shield? It has Shield? A, a Ferris wheel in it. It's a an unserious wheel. store. It's got a Ferris wheel in the I don't middle. know what that is, actually. It's, it's like the is big... like a, it's a sports it's like it's like yeah, sports one authority that has a Ferris wheel. It's like right. sports authority dicks and five uh big five combined. Like no, it's don't, it's don't got talk about big five like that. It's not so big. wait, it's got why do you know you what Shields is? More, Jared. Where have Shields, you been to a Shields? In Reno. It's in Reno. Oh. There's one in Reno. I think it's, yeah. There's one that's in Reno. It's one of a kind. That's the only one. I think there's I think there's one in Utah. I think I think there's multiple, but this one the one in the one in Reno I know has a Ferris wheel. I don't know if other but you 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 want some you want some basketball gear, you've got it. You want the football jersey, you've got it. You want a rifle, you want to go hunting. It's got it's got your hunting stuff. And you want to take mm-hmm. a little ride on the Ferris wheel in the middle of your your shopping spree? Yeah, go hit the Ferris wheel. I, I can't. I can't go. Anyone this, over man. seven it's is a not making that decision. It's a bruiser. Let me I tell just you. Bro, AT&T it, is getting dragged through the paint. I don't know. He's pretty athletic. He flies around. He can go from tower to tower. Like yeah. he got a lot of reach. Give me shields. <laughs> oh right, Luke, man. come on, baby. What's you guys is big man. I don't know, man. Cause my guy, he comes to work with a hard hat on every day. A hard hat oh, on every God. day. Um, this guy is a like I think I think the definition of my list is grit. Like you got Winko, you got Big Five. Bath and Body Works not really a great guy, but that's <laughs> why he's there. No grit. I'm seeing no grit out of Bath and Body Works. <laughs> You're probably I'm right. Seeing but the other Cost Plus is great. Yeah. Epsom Salt Cost Plus got some grit. Cost Plus got some grit. You can't tell me Winco and Big Five don't have grit. But my five man is kind of this is my like I said uh, about Pulp Fiction. This is my uh this is my my leader by example. Like I said, he comes to work with a hard hat on every day. Um, if you want to get things done, this is where you go. Give me Ace Hardware as my center. Nice, um, nice. Ace Hardware is a hard hat worker. Um, I don't think he's I big think enough to hang with Shields, but he's good. No, uh, bro, Shields is a bad play, but you know that's fine. Ace Hardware, I did have Home Depot here. I will say full transparency, but I think Ace Hardware kind of fits my uh my team's mold a little better. Yeah, more of um, a walk on style. You know, I just said walk on. You I love my Lowe's guy. Not a Lowe's guy. Um, now my walk on pick. We live in a world where budget friendly stores have really taken the scene. You know, you got all your your Dollar General, your 99 cent store, your 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 Dollar Tree, your your Goodwills, your Salvation Armies. You know, you got all these thrift stores, these these low budget stores, but you got one. You got one no. that sticks out among the rest in my eyes. No, um, no, no. I think when when it comes to movie theater snacks, this place really checks a lot of boxes for me and it's just it's a fun environment in this store. At this new to the scene for me, I really only became accustomed to the store in the past year or so. Give me five below as my walk-on pick. I think okay. this is a guy. This is a guy that has really stepped on the scene for me and, and shown a lot of promise in terms of budget-friendly stores. Five dollars and below, you get a lot of things there. It's a good time. Uh, so I got five below as my walk-on pick. It's a good walk-on pick. Yeah, man, is definitely um, gonna vote for you. Let's go. That's a good vote for That's mine. A good vote to get. For mine, I think you guys are going to throw a flag, so I have an automatic backup ready to roll. Yeah, I was just going to – yeah, honestly, just flag it. I'm not even going to pick it. You guys can flag it. I was going to go thrift stores as my walk-on, but – In general, not, thrift yeah, stores? Thrift stores. Yeah, see, throw the flag. That's, I don't Well, then why don't you I just don't give us an exact thrift store? That's like no, me putting I'm grocery stores as my shoe. I'm moving on. Like, I'm going to my real walk-on. That, that walk-on, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to my real I don't know if your team can um, be believable. <laughs> um, if you have a fake walk on and a real walk on, give me give me Ross dress for less. Oh Ross, wow, that's a good play. That's actually a good walk play. On. You know, you can find you can find some sneaky things on the rack at Ross, man. You can't find that Even chain some shoes. At Ross, though, I'll tell you that you can't find mm. the chain at Ross. You know, you're not finding the shades at Ross either. Not sure where you're finding these. Finally, he's on a countertop over here. Um, Ross, you could pick up like some 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 GT cuts at Ross for like $50 and you'd be like, whoa, where'd these come from? I know Luke's not a GT cuts two kind of guy, but maybe they got the GT cuts one. I, I went know. to Ross two days ago. They don't have them. Um, 
I think that was an anomaly that the the tweet that we saw of it, but neither here nor there. Neither the Shohei here nor Otani there. Uh, Ross, GT cut dress for less. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Whoa. That was real <laughs> passive aggressive right there. I don't know. Uh <laughs> The world has been changing, and my walk on, you know, he wasn't supposed to survive with this new age technology world and COVID and, you know, just companies like Amazon just taking over. And, you know, somehow, like when COVID hit, we really did not think this guy was going to make it, but he battled and really embodied what a walk on really is. Give me best buy. As my nice. Nice. best buy, uh, I don't know. You if could I can still see go there and get on. high quality TVs, CDs, DVDs, yeah. cell phone plans. I think I got here. I think here, Jared, you'll actually like this. I got this record from Best Buy. Hold on, you're gonna enjoy this. You can keep going with your spiel because uh, no, that was I'm it. Find it real quick. But I think it's a good pick. I wouldn't really think of Best Buy as a walk on pick. I got this at Best Buy, which is that's Great. impressive. That's an impressive Okay, but why was it not buy. a walk on though? That's like they're supposed it's to be just... gone. Amazon took no, over. No, no. I think the your reasoning made it a good walk on. The reason oh, why okay. I would, it's it's an expensive place. That's only you know what I mean. Oh, so I feel like okay, all right, yeah, it, yeah, all right. You know, but I think the way you put it, it's genius. It's really well yeah. done. You know, I mean, some people guys, shoot for the stars, it. man. You know, no, some I people are just that. satisfied with five dollars. I think it. Best Buy knows its value. You know what I mean? Okay, five below knows its value too. And the does clearly. Before we wrap up our fives, I mean, we've got to give love to Costco and Sam's Club. I don't know how that didn't make any of our list. Because I hate I think, Costco. Costco is hell in my mind. I think that's a really bad take. But um, I you think, actually don't save any money. You know that, right? Yeah. You don't but, like buying in bulk? No. I, just, I get good vibes at Costco and Sam's Club. The thing about Costco and Sam's Club to me is I waste too much time in those type of stores. Like, I can't go in there. Like I can't go in there just to shop for myself. Like it's it's if I'm doing like a party, grocery run that makes sense. You know what I mean. But like if I'm gonna go in there just for my weekly stuff, I just feel like it's just not gonna check the box for me. And I haven't been there. I'm a little minute. disappointed. Like, I don't have places, Costco on my list. All my places I've been to recently, and they yeah. You want to put Seven Eleven in there? I might switch Seven Eleven Costco if it's a playable. I, I don't think we can do that right now. I don't think we can. No, I you got to you got to own up to the Slurpee. Costco's uh, home to America's greatest deal. Well, yeah, yeah. No, I don't bad. think we can. Right. Unfortunately, I don't think we can make that audible yeah. happen for you. Yeah, you made yeah. your bed. Yeah, now you got to lie in it. Fine, I'm gonna lie in it. If you I'm made it lie two picks earlier, it with a Slurpee maybe. bedside. I'm gonna lie happy in it with a Slurpee bedside, Jared. I hope Jay's listening to what's coming out of your mouth because he's probably <laughs> making a crazy face right now based on what you're saying. Looks like Jay's locked in on some good summer league basketball right now. Good. Then I know he's not doing anything because that didn't exist. Um, seventy three, right, seventy two right now. Six minutes. Jared, you getting out there to uh, Riviera while you're out there, or what's uh, up? <laughs> no, that's. I decided to go with Lululemon instead of saving money to be able to play Riviera. <laughs> uh, but you, you know to, what? I, other, might, uh, I might venture out in golf in the hundred and five. I don't mind there. golfing in the heat. It backfired on us the other day, Luke, when we thought there'd be nobody out there and we ended up behind some dum dums. Some, some some losers. Yeah. But uh still never still a good day. Um Great the day. one store we didn't talk about though is the PGA store. Mm. The PGA store is where I find my swag. But even the best clubs in the world won't help my lag. So fifty chips a day will keep the bogeys away. Wow, hey. I like that. That was good. That was I like that one. That waters. Was, How about was, waters, man? I like that one. That one gets my stamina. That's nice. Um, I thought I thought you were going like a little like Saul Goodman infomercial route right there. No, okay. no, no. I like that. I, I had like to keep that. it keep it solid. So while we're on this golf topic, I do got to bring something up. Um. So Jared and I played Apple Mountain, which if anyone's in this listening to this, it's 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 up in the uh towards the mountain area, like towards Tahoe region, right? Uh from from the Sacramento area, up towards Tahoe. Uh Tommy goes and plays this course like a week later, and Tommy Tommy apparently had a great day. Um, you know, he said he had a couple pars. Um 
I, we got to talk about it. We have to talk about it. I said a couple. I said a couple of bars. <laughs> um, Jared, Jared seemed to Jared seemed to think there was a little bit of fishiness going on. Um, look, I said I said it is a little unbelievable, but at the same time, I'm gonna let my teammate rock. I think uh, it's very believable to get a car on a par three, guys. I don't oh, actually, par threes are actually yeah. the hardest holes on See, the course. See, that's yeah, how tough. I know. Because if you about. if you shank your tee shot, you're you're in triple territory but, immediately. A yeah. hundred and two. It doesn't par matter. Three, like you only have three shots to make par. It's actually the golf courses were built and designed for par threes to be the hardest scoring holes. Looks like I had a really good day. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Well, and you also but, played no, a scramble, so. But he said but he got the, it on his own. But the pars were my shot. I'll say so this hit, though. I'll say so this. You hit I'll all say three this, shots. He took my shots. Yes. Okay. I'll say this about a scramble par versus a normal par, which I don't want to take away from Tommy's day because. Because again, like this is great for our team. I think it's um, definitely not a real par, but but yeah, I'm there's, a, look, I got there's, my there's own. a there's a confidence blanket when you're in a scramble, you know, like that. Like yeah. okay, if I absolutely, up. so absolutely. it's a little good, but but, but this but is the first that time that Tommy that is admitting this, sense, this is the first time though. This is the first does time that matter we're in this at. sense though, because because we're not playing solo when we play Jared. We are playing yeah, a we, scramble. We are playing a scramble. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not worried. I I gave you your props. Don't say you're not worried. I'm not, I'm, I'm not worried. And if I am worried, it has nothing to do with you. <laughs> I'm a part of the team, man. Yeah, about, I, so is Thanasis Luke, and the Kupo. He has, he has a title, too. If you're worried about Luke, you're worried about me. No, I I'm not. Either. I think he's right. Uh, that's definitely not true. <laughs> I'm, I'm, how many how many points did Thanasis score in the finals? You know what's Remind disappointing me? to me? You know what's disappointing to me, Luke, is when we beat them, when we beat them, he's just going to say he lost to Luke. He's not going to even say my name. And I don't. I can. Know, I can say that right now. I would have said that from the start. But the thing is, but when I hit a big shot, when I hit up, a big putt, Jared. <laughs> okay. I think the way we have it set up makes it so it's harder for him to say that, though, where we have to use one of your shots per hole. I agree. So, no, yeah. I'm look. I'm just saying. I'm just it, glad you're out there, Tom. I'm not. I was gonna, I, that's, they, they, I'm, I'm just glad, glad you took the words there, right out of my mouth. I yeah, think I'm Tommy. Glad Tommy's you're out there because we don't the light before yeah. and now i really feel like he's 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 embracing it and he's he's understanding the, the joy that this game is bringing to people yeah, yeah can we get yeah. out there can can we get out there before i mean i don't know you guys are out there in in i don't know calabasas so i, I don't know what to say like it's like <laughs> calabasas is crazy <laughs> yeah I, hey a funny uh, person <laughs> my bad uh, back, yeah we can let's back make, shortly. Let's make it happen yeah maybe next week I'm yeah, down hard, maybe on that. Yeah, maybe next mm. week. <laughs> well, sounds like we're not going next week. No, we'll, no, it's it, that, it, no. It yeah, depends there's, on there's, Luke. <laughs> yeah, it depends on Luke. It depends on other things. Seems yeah. like it depends on variables that we can't control. <laughs> yeah, but hey, uh, yeah, uh, you know, we'll we'll get out there, and if so, we'll be sure to post it on Instagram that the the walk on boys are out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah, like uh, I'm, I'm just yeah, I'm just excited, man. I'm excited you're excited to get out there, Tom. I yeah, like that energy. It means a lot. It means a lot, yeah. dude. Stop with the pity, passive aggressive comments, dude. I don't want to hear that. All right. No, I am. I, I knew. I, I, I think that was genuine, actually. I am. No, that didn't feel genuine at all. Just like well, when I told then, you got to look in the mirror on that one. Then just buddy, like when because... I told Jared I was Apple Mountain, he was like, "What are you doing out there? Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm working on my game." I'm working on my game. That's what are you not doing out there? It's crazy. I love how he twists. I love how he twists the narrative. That's awesome. That's hilarious. He said, "What are you?" <laughs> Am doing I out twisting there? the narrative on this one, Jay? Right, we can go back and look at the text. Oh, we're pulling up receipts on the walk on pod <laughs> I'm today. I'm pulling up receipt right now. Let's see. Oh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You guys are both doing it at the same time, or Jared? He said, "Bro." He said, "Ha ha, bro." What with who? Yeah, so what I didn't, I knew what you were doing. You were playing. Yeah, yeah. That's Tom, fair. I think, I think, I think, I think especially a bit of a swindle. That's especially here. after. That, let's not forget, Tom. Yeah, we just finished working in Modesto, <laughs> so you drove from Modesto and flipped around and went back to Apple Mountain. Bro, now you guys got your days mixed up, though. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. that's uh -oh. like that's no, that's not even like Jared. Oh, that's... I read that wrong. Then I'll take the blame <laughs> on that one. Yeah, now. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, not, Tom, let's, yeah, let's we're just, we're just, also, yeah, Tom, hey, Tom, Tom, also, hey, Tom also said he's a back nine bully. <laughs> I did say that. That's true. I did say I'm a back nine bully because I had a, a that, that's from, that's a back nine bullies. 
Anyways, you're truly back nine bully right here. Appreciate you tuning in. Big things coming. Episode 52 on the way. I think we have something special brewing. Not going to release any details, but something's cool on the way. Yeah. Uh, appreciate everybody. As always, do your favorite walk-ons. We're walking out. <laughs>